Thank you so much. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. And I really want to thank the local group here, Citizens for 5G Awareness, because they are setting the bar for the country. And the information that they are putting out um, is being used by people all over who are waking up to this issue and saying, wait, what is 5G? And wait, there's a problem with my cell phone? <laughs> what do I do? How do I handle this? So I'm executive director of Environmental Health Trust. We publish research, we develop educational campaigns, and we present to policymakers internationally and in this country. Um, myself, along with Dr. Davis, who's going to be speaking in a few days and focusing more on, on the science, just testified at the New Hampshire State 5G Commission. So what happened in New Hampshire was this, they actually passed a bill and they have a commission where they are looking at this issue, uh, bringing different ex experts to testify, including those from industry, those from our federal government, scientists who are studying this, and, and really looking at this issue, which is what we need to happen. Now, when I first learned about this issue almost a decade ago, I was shocked to find out that in other countries, they're far ahead of us in terms of protections that are in place and awareness about this issue. So Belgium has banned the sale of cell phones designed for children. And specifically because of the radiation. In French Polynesia, they have a public education campaign. This is actually some stills I'm going to show you from a, a one minute video on things that emit electromagnetic radiation in your home and how to reduce them. And you can go on to ehtrust.org and go to our international action section and watch these and share these. We have them translated. But they show uh, and all the things that might emit a ra uh, wireless radiation, your phone, your Wi-Fi router, your gaming console, outside a cell tower, um, antennas that might be mounted on your roof. It's a small cell. Um, in the nursery, a baby, a wireless baby monitor, the computer, in the kitchen, things that also emit another kind of electromagnetic field, extremely low frequency fields, appliances, or if you have a smart refrigerator, um, wireless security cameras, etc. This is the back of a bus in Cyprus, and they have a translation that they have online for the Oops. Public ed Education Campaign. That's good. Um, you can hear me okay? Okay. Sorry, I was too close to the mic, I think. There's a public education campaign in Cyprus put on by uh, the um, committee, which is, you know, funded by the, the government. Um, and in this campaign, on the back of the bus, don't irradiate me, learn how to protect me. And they have posters and information informing parents and people about how phones and wireless devices emit a type of radiation and here's how you can reduce exposure. And more importantly, that you should reduce exposure. Why? Because hundreds of scientists around the world are signing appeals and ringing the alarm bell on this based on the body of published, credible scientific evidence. And the emfscientist.org in 2015 is just one of many appeals where uh, scientists who have published research on electromagnetic fields are stating that we must reduce exposure. There's also a 5G appeal to the European Union calling to halt 5G, signed by over, I think now, 240 scientists as well. So what I wanted to do today, because uh, Dr. Davis is going to be focusing more on the science, is talk about messaging, what we are being told, how, what we are being informed about, and what is missing from that information in the media. This is a poster um, from the UK, Electrosensitivity UK designed this campaign poster. Uh, they were having it put up around in public areas, and it ended up being banned. 
uh, because there were complaints to the UK Ads Council. What it is, is worth the risk? Is it worth your call? And then there are all these little app symbols and they say damaged immune system, electrosensitivity, skin disorders, cancer, dementia, depression, and so on. All effects that have been found in scientific research. And that was a few years ago that it was banned. There's another poster which I'm gonna show you soon which also, also got taken down. And yet, we're told that life is easier on the iPhone. And that starts as soon as you turn it on. And my heart breaks that I'm a, a mom and I remember having a, my daughter's friend over and we, I asked her to turn the cell phone off and this was in, gosh, it was, had to be eighth grade. She'd just gotten a cell phone, uh, the girl who came over. And she said to me, well, I don't know how to do that. I mean, she really didn't. It's not that she wanted to be on the phone, it's just she'd never actually turned it off. And we have to learn how to turn off the phone. We have to teach our kids how to turn it off and how to reduce exposure, but really just how to turn it off. And companies need to make phones that we can turn off easily and not have to press a million buttons in order to turn off.